Hey, hey, hey guys, it's Frecky here and it is Sunday, so you know what that means. It's time for another weigh-in video. All right, so what a week. This has been a week. I don't know about you guys, but it's been a week. Like, seriously, I don't know how else to describe it besides a week. I, I joined a collab video this week. I, I still can't say that word, collab. I joined a collab video <laughs> this week with a bunch of other YouTubers. Lisa over at From Dumpy to Diva invited me to be part of it, and I'm gonna put a link to her uh, YouTube channel below. And that was such a fun experience. And if you watched mine, you know how hectic it was. I, I, I had a very uh, interesting time getting a, getting a video that I could use because of, um, you know, I'm, I'm a disaster walking and I knock over things and break things. But it was still super, super fun and really interesting to get me thinking because I don't have a lot of uh, kitchen gadgets. The, the collab was on top five favorite kitchen gadgets. I don't have a lot. But now that I've watched all the other people that were part of that, like seriously, go check them out. There's a bunch of stuff that I just added to my shopping list. I'm really excited for... Um, yeah, so that was really, really cool. And so thank you, Lisa. And thank you, everybody else that was part of the collab. I, I, I know some of my new viewers are from you guys. And I totally and completely appreciate that. Because I'm up at last check to 183 subscribers, which isn't a ton. But it's 88 more, 88 more than I had before the collab video. And another factor into that was Barrett Pastor who has a YouTube channel and also a Facebook group, Weight Watchers Living Life on Track, she posted a link to me on there. I actually work with her daughter, um, Paige, and she didn't even know that I, I was doing this and I you know, wasn't fully aware of what she does. And so that was actually really cool. And a lot of people in the collab were actually in her group also. So that's kind of a, a really cool meeting place that we can all kind of chat and catch up and things like that. And especially with something like that because, you know, like she and other ones, other YouTubers are doing the current Weight Watcher plan. And like I've always said, like I'm not hating on it. It just doesn't work for me. So I use an older Weight Watchers plan. And so that makes me really happy that we can all kind of work together and see what things are going and been introduced to some amazing stuff. I mean, Barrett is the first place that I've heard about those built bars, like, well, from Paige, because she'll bring them into work. And there are three points on my plan, as well as the newest plan, and they taste amazing. And so, you know, I'm going to be ordering some more, uh, some through her. Um, but anyway, so I want to say thank you to her as well. And then the last one, this one was a total shock, because I don't know if it was planned out ahead of time. Because um, I wasn't notified, except for in a comment when Sandy from over at Let's Get Fit with Sandy, she did a shout out video this morning and I was one of the channels and that was really sweet. Um, she did comment on my video saying, hey, just so you know, I'm gonna be giving you a shout out. But I I wasn't aware of that um, being a thing. Like it wasn't anything planned way in advance. So I don't know exactly how she does that. I've watched some of her videos because I found her through a collab that I watched from another YouTuber. And so I, um. I haven't paid attention to shout out videos, so maybe it's something she does every week and she just picks one. But either way, thank you so much, Sandy. That was very, very sweet. And thank you to everybody that has come over. Now, it's Sunday. Every Sunday, for everybody that doesn't know, every Sunday I do my weigh in, and Tuesday's always a random video, and then sometimes there's a surprise video. So, Sunday this week, I was just making a joke with a friend because. It's weigh-in week, and it was not a good numbers week for me, guys. Um, let me just pull those up. So, first channel, first time you're coming to my channel, you're seeing my weigh-in, and I gain 1.6 pounds. But it's the first time out of, of the 11 weeks that I've been doing this that I gained weight. The only thing that I am not extra... Uh, the wording is weird. One thing that kind of annoys me that if I'm going to gain weight, I behaved. Like, I did what I was supposed to, mostly, as far as food-wise. Like, when I say behave, like, that means I did not have any cheesecake. I did not have any, you know, Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, anything like that. I, you know, did what I was supposed to do. 
Um, but there are some factors, and so I created them into some weekly goals. So, like, I did not drink enough water. Like, Friday, I don't think I had a drop of water. I had diet soda, but not a drop of water. Um, and then another thing, I had a lot of sodium, especially on Thursday and Friday. I, like, too much sodium. I, I ordered Chinese, basically. I was tired and lazy, and it's easy to track. I, I know how many points it is for a shrimp fried rice and an egg roll. But that also has a ton of sodium in it. And so tying into that was get more sleep. I don't know what my issue was this week, but I did have a lot of issues sleeping. One night, I literally got like two hours of sleep. And then the next night, I went to bed early and then woke up at like two in the morning. And then the next night was normal sleep time and then again woke up at two. But that was one was just for a little bit. Like I had a weird dream. Um, but yeah, so a lot of a lot of awkward sleep this week. And um, sleep's important. I, I, I've been told that my whole life. And I need to pay attention to that. And the last thing was, like, looking at the iTrack Bytes app, there were a lot of days where I would have, like, one day I had, like, 15 or 16 points left for the day. One day I had, like, 12. One day, like, 9. So only one day this week did I actually, you know get close to my point goal or closer to my point goal where I had 1.2 points left or bites since I'm using eye track bites. But so I believe that is a factor because um, I've heard that before, not having enough, but that's when it gets hard, especially with work. Like one day this week, uh, Thursday, I believe it was, um, I, or Friday, it was Friday. I left my wallet at home. So when I went to grab uh, breakfast, which honestly, it was going to be a chicken wrap, but um, I went to grab that and I did not have my wallet. So that meant I was eating later in the day as in after work. Um, and part of it was my own self pride because, you know, got to work and Paige that I mentioned a moment ago, she did. She's like, hey, let's go back up there. I, I can uh, I can give you money for it. But I was too embarrassed to walk back in and be like, hey, you know, I was just here without any money. So I didn't. I chose not to. It was a poor choice. But um, so, yeah. So then that day when I get off work, you know, I got home like four-ish. Between four and bedtime, it is hard to eat all of my points because I still get 71 points. And that's a lot of food, especially if you're trying to eat healthy. That is what's so hard. Like, I can get a salad and I can throw in the cheese and throw in the dressing and all this stuff. And it's going to be like 10 points or, you know, maybe a smidge more if I, if I throw an extra. But so it's hard to eat healthy. So that's why in my head I'm like, you know, I'm just going to go and grab or go and order Chinese food because then I can have more points. It still, cut, it still left me short from my point goal. But, yeah, so it, it gets so complicated. It's, it's, it's hard. And one last factor, and I did not throw it up in the, the goals here um, because I'm going to keep doing the exercises. I you know, have been doing that 30-day beach body Challenge, and I plan on keep going on it. Um, but, you know, my muscles are a little bit sore. Like this morning, I did wake up, and my calves were sore, and my, um, my glute, my, my, my butt is a little sore like muscle wise from doing like squats and stuff so they say that uh that sore muscles retain water but i feel like i'm also a little dehydrated because my lips are a little like dried out so i'm not sure that's why like i got this big old honker of water that i'm drinking um yeah that was full this morning so i'm working on it guys I'm really really working on it but yeah so yeah, and maybe it all ties in together somehow. Maybe because of sore muscles, they're holding on to some water. And maybe because of the amount of sodium I had, despite me. Because, like, yesterday, I, I, I filled this up twice. And this is, what? This is 50 ounces. So, 100 ounces of water I had yesterday. But so, um, you know, maybe the sodium is holding on to the water. Maybe my sore muscles are. I don't know. I don't have all the answers. I'm not an expert. I'm still learning and yeah so the numbers were not exactly where i wanted them to be this week 
but I'm not letting me get that down. Like, I have worked hard to get where I'm at. Even though it's only 21 pounds, I plan on getting, going the distance. And so you'll have some bad weeks. Sometimes it won't be what you want it to be. I know before when I had only lost 0.2 pounds, I was not happy. But I think, you know, this time I'm not as unhappy as I thought I'd be. I, I'm i going to keep going. I'm going to keep trucking and all the other same generic phrases to mean the same thing. I'm going to keep going. And so I also want to throw up my uh, my mini goals. They're, they're higher than last week, obviously. But so my first mini goal, um, for those that are new, is to lose 40 pounds. So that would mean I would be at 336.8. So I have 18.6 more pounds to go. Totally doable. It's not a, it's not a, what's the phrase? It's not a race, it's a marathon. As long as you go the distance, it doesn't matter how long it takes you. And my Dragon Con goal, for those that don't know, Dragon Con is an amazing convention and I'm finally getting to go next year in 2020. It takes place Labor Day weekend, which is the first weekend in uh, September, I believe. And so um, by then I want to get to 263. I did the math on that when I, fir- when I first set this goal to average two pounds a week. Um, so eight pounds a month. So to get to 263, I need to lose 92.4 more pounds. And so I, I still believe that's doable, despite some low loss weeks or, or a week like this week where I actually gained, which is a first. But despite that, I still think I can get there. So for now, I'm going to increase cardio, as well as those other uh, goals, drinking more water, paying attention to sodium, sleep, and eating all of my points. So yeah. So anyway, how did everybody else's week go? Hopefully everybody is doing wonderful. And even if you had a week like mine, hopefully you're still motivated. Hopefully you're not going to let this make you quit or make you give up. Have faith in yourself. Have faith in whatever you're doing to better your life. It's all about the long-term goal. And in the meantime, we can have many victories. Like my mini victory this week was I, when I couldn't sleep, I ordered a kilt. I have an issue finding things that fit, especially things like a kilt that needs to go over your belly. And I ordered one and I had just accepted the fact that I was going to have to get one that fit in my hips and not wear it the proper Scottish way. But instead, this one actually fits at the navel like it's supposed to. And that made me really happy because the last time, a year ago, when I ordered a kilt, they didn't have one in my size. Um, I ordered that one wrong. Um, and I did it off pants measurements rather than, uh, actual measurements, measurements, but, um, either way at that point, they didn't have one, uh, at least the cheap ones that I want to order. That's like $40. They didn't have one that would fit me. Uh, this time they did this time. My measurements are, are better and I, it fits over my belly and that made me super, super happy because it's really hard getting something when your belly is as big as mine. So that is a victory to me. Kind of weird being a kilt or whatever, especially since I'm mostly Irish, not Scottish, but I've always wanted one. And especially when I go to like the Renaissance Fair or the Festival of Nations, things like that, I plan on, you know, rocking it. So yeah, so we all have to have our non-scale victories. And hopefully you guys have hit some this week. My one friend, um, the TMI Queen gets fit on YouTube. She... One, she's been working out every day, so that is awesome. So kudos to that. But two, one victory was she went out to eat and she didn't finish all of her food. I can relate to that one. I have a big issue of if I like it, if it's there, I want to eat all of it. And um, and even if you're full, you still want to. But luckily, she stopped. And I noticed that myself. I've been doing that a lot this week too which is, again, gets a little bit awkward when I track for this amount of food and then I don't eat it all. So, but so I feel like in the long run, it's better for me if I'm stopping when I'm satisfied rather than going because, well, I track the points for this and I need the points. I was, I was talking to Lisa from Dumpy to Diva last night about that, where I'm like, she said it and I said it, you know, just because we have the points, but if we're full or if we're not hungry, 
it doesn't make sense to eat, then that means I really need to actually plan a little bit better. I'll never be a meal planner. I tried it for a little bit, hated every moment of it. But at least planning my days better because I am very much a fly by the seat of my pants type of person. Like, all right, cool. I'm off work. I have this many points. I'm going to go grab this, whatever. But then sometimes like, okay, I can't eat all of that. So I need to plan better as far as throughout the day. I have this big issue where I don't like to eat at work. I don't know why. It's just a thing. Um, and so I don't, uh, I eat before I get to work and then I eat after work. And so I need to probably plan on having a little bit of something while I'm there. That way I don't have 60 points left when I get off work and I have to figure it out. Especially on the days where I close, that means I'm getting off work at 8 o'clock at night, not getting home till like 9, and then I'm trying to have, you know, all of those points. Yeah. And I'm also one other factor with that. The first time that I lost weight, and I'm trying not to do it this way this time, was McDonald's ruled my world because it was the easiest thing to track. And plus, the, where I got off the highway to go home, there was one right there. And so I lost most of the weight before by having McDonald's twice a day. This go around, I'm trying to eat healthier foods, despite my two days of Chinese, don't judge. But despite that, I try to eat healthier foods and that, you know, typically is lower in points. But I feel like I'm not clogging an artery while I'm doing it. So, yeah. So anyway, hopefully everybody has a wonderful week. Please comment below and let me know how you're doing. Let me know what your goals are. And if you are on a journey, please let me know. I, uh, As I always say, I love supporting you guys. I love the support that I get. And if you haven't yet, please hit the like button. And please hit the subscribe and hit the little bell. Because when I do collabs and other bonus videos... You don't know because it's not a Sunday or Tuesday. So that way you can know when I post. And so until Tuesday when I believe I'm going to be finally making that banana ice cream on video because I've had several requests for it, I will see you Tuesday.